ABL Cadets, Volume 1, San Romeo Military Academy, Chapter 1. Admission to military school runs planet on the edge of the cigar galaxy. This is a very barren and desolate planet. With a population of less than 100 million, unlike other planets with four seasons and habitable spring-like atmosphere, Renz was frosty, snowing all year round. The entire planet was a world of snow and ice, white as far as the eye can see. Such a cold place was inhabited thanks to the huge amounts of energy. Reserves stored under the planet's surface a mineral named Blue Crystal that is essential for making large warships. His Majesty even dispatched an army station to oversee the mining of this precious mineral. Cosmic Calendar 798 Winter On December 24 Christmas Eve, RN1317 Ren's Planet, a very ordinary civilian residential area, in an ordinary living room. A virtual Christmas tree with different colors of laser lights pulsing to the rhythm of some. Music. The music and constantly flashing. Lights filled this simple three-bedroom house with a festive atmosphere. There was a scent wafting from the kitchen. A beautiful woman is cooking seriously. Next to her is a young girl. Her hair up in ponytail, decorating a colorful cake. The smell of. The food and the sweetness of the cake mixed together creating a smell that's easy to open the appetite. Out from the wind and snow, a young juvenile enters the house. From the door, he was immediately attracted by the rich aroma. The teenager was apparently an Asian boy with ink black hair and bright eyes. His soft snowflake light black hair was against his ear. In stark contrast to his fair complexion, the boy held out his hand, breathed into his palms and gently rubbed them together. His Ears were bitingly red. He quickly changed out of his shoes and took off his warm coat, walked into the kitchen and greeted the busy woman with a smile. Mom, I'm home. Listening to the sound of his voice was like listening to a string of sweet musical notes. The cooking woman turned to greet him, but when she saw the boy's red ears, she could not help but worriedly say, Is it that cold outside? Show you on. Quick, go take a hot bath. The food will be done soon, Lin Yuan said with a smile. It's all right, I'll help you guys. He went to his sister's side, curiously looked at the cake and rolled up his sleeves to help. But his sister frowned and pushed him away. Go, go, go. The less people in the kitchen, the less chaos. There's no need for your help. Just wait to eat. Lin Yao pushed her brother out the door while rubbing his silky black hair until it was messed up to satisfaction. Lin Yuan can't help but say, sis, I'm not hobby. Can you not rub my head like that, hobby? The small white dog he picked up two years ago in front of the space station, his sister often rubbed it from head to toe. She'd even weave its long hair into a braid. After hearing his master's voice, a little braided hobby happily ran in and rubbed up against Lin Yuan's leg, issued a little whine of grievance. Lin Yuan picked it up sympathetically. Lin Ya stared at him. You still haven't taken a shower. After saying this, she gave Hobby a stern look. The little dog immediately fearfully shrunk his head into Lin Yuan's arms. Lin Yuan quickly held Hobby and turned away so it couldn't suffer from his sister's gaze attack any longer. When he came out of the shower, the food was already spread out on the table. There was a round. Cake, delicately covered with a ring of fresh strawberries, written on it was Happy 18th Birthday Lin Yuan. Although his sister has an aggressive personality, she has a hand for cooking. Especially her delicious handmade cakes, the virtual candles. On the cake in the dark room is like a burst of fireworks. Lin Yuan's heart can't help but fill with warmth, although they're only virtual candles. Blowing out candles has always been their family tradition. He was born of Christmas Eve, every year. His mother and sister would use this ancient and solemn way to celebrate his birthday, although he grew up without a father and didn't know what type of personality his father had. He never lacked for warmth in his single parent family, his mother's cooking and his sister's personally baked cake was the best birthday present he could have. Lin Yuan started to cut into the cake, but was stopped by Lin Yao, hey, don't forget to make a wish. Oh, yeah, Lin Yuan smiled, gently closed his eyes, clasped his hands, and made a wish. 
The same wish he's made every year since he knew what a wish was to get out of here one day. Lin Yuan always felt that he did not belong here, in his dreams. There would always appear a warm aqua blue planet with sunny skies, sea and sand, fresh air and green plants, a planet suitable for human life. He did not want to stay in this barren desert land of ice and snow all his life. Renz had fewer and fewer residents each year, and seeing those people one by one moving to other galaxies, Lin Yuan could not help but think, one day I'll leave here with my mother and sister. He wanted to take them out of this cold and desolate place and live in his warm, spring-filled dream planet. Fortunately, this desire will soon be achieved because he just got an admission letter from the San Romeo Military Academy. After dinner ended, Lin Yuan returned to the bedroom, dug through his backpack and took out an exquisite dark blue envelope. The envelope paper was very high quality and fell thick in his hands. The right corner of the envelope had a beautiful insignia, similar to the wings of an eagle. Printed on it, the coat of arms of the Lacey Empire Army, in this age of accelerating technology. Connection between people was through email and visual communication devices. This ancient letter sending is very rare. Only the San Romeo Military Academy would use such a grand way to contact students, of course. An email message was also sent. Out, this paper acceptance letter was sent to students as a souvenir. San Romeo Military Academy, Lacey Empire's best military academy, many of the Empire's generals, the marshals, and even the Empire's majesty, Mark Strand, have studied there. For this reason, San Romeo Military Academy's exquisite paper acceptance letter was carefully treasured by many students. It even became their crowning glory. Lin Yuan touched the letter. His lips can't help but rise slightly higher, his black eyes filled with undisguised delight. I actually got in. Soon, he'll be a San Romeo Military Academy student. The wise generals and His Majesty himself will be his alumni. His mother and sister were watching the news on the virtual optical screen in the living room. Lin Yuan sat down by his mother, handed her the envelope, hugged her shoulders, smiled and said, Mom, take a look at this. What is it? A little doubtful. Mrs. Lin took the envelope, saw the lower right corner of the envelope had in. Eagle pattered, fingers shaking a little, took a deep breath, and opened the envelope to see the silver printed handwriting on the beautiful letter. San Romeo Military Academy Admission Notice. Student Lin Yuan, with outstanding results on the entrance examination, is admitted to San Romeo Military Academy as student no. 598 of the military command section. Please report to the academy on or before January 18th, Cosmic Calendar 799. The woman suddenly closed the notice, face pale, and looked. Back at Lin Yuan, you secretly attended the army's public exam. Lin Yuan was shocked, silent. He thought when his mother saw the letter, she'd be happy for him. But his mom's shocked expression didn't have a hint of joy and she rarely spoke too. Him in such a shrill tone, Lin Yuan paused, quizzically scratched his head and said, Mom, I'm sorry, you were in hospital. The military academy was open for admissions and I didn't have time to tell you, yeah. Lin Yuan told me he was signing up. Lin Yao tried to clear her brother's name. She took the notice from her mother hands, reading the letter back and forth several times carefully. After confirming, Lin Yao rubbed her brother's hair. Good for you. I really didn't expect it'd be real. San Romeo Military Academy. Wow, that's the best school in this whole empire. Lin Yuan felt embarrassed by her pet-like hair rubbing, quickly moved his head to avoid the clutches of his sister, and secretly sneaked the innocent dog relaxing in the corner of the sofa into his sister's hand. Lin Yao shifted targets, held Hobby in her arms, rubbed his little fluffy head and said with a proud expression, my brother will certainly become an excellent warship commander. No, forget being a commander. My brother will be a five-star general. I was a general's sister. Ha ha ha, little hobby. Wow, 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 Lin Yuan, cough, cough. The two siblings were joking around. Turned around only to find that their mother's face was paler. 
her. Fingers were even slightly trembling. Lin Yuan worriedly asked, Mom, what's wrong? Lin Ya also put down the dying from excessive rubbing hobby, said, Mom, don't get angry. You were sick in the hospital. So Yuan just didn't want to worry you so. He didn't say anything. Mrs. Lin was silent for a moment, looked at her son. Well, do you have to go to military school? Isn't it better to test to another school? After all, military, military schools are very strict. Lin Yuan waved her. Concerns away with a smile. I'm a boy. That type of hard work is nothing. Plus, being a soldier has always been my dream. I always wanted to grow up and go to a military academy. Lin Yuan paused. Finally puzzled at his mom's reaction. Mom, you don't want me to go to San Romeo Military Academy. Of course, of course not. Mrs. Lin just laughed. That's our empire's best school. The entrance examinations are very strict. Only a small amount of students are admitted each year. You passed by. Your skill alone, mom is very happy for you. Mrs. Lin stood up from the couch and gently rubbed his head. You guys talk. I'm going to bed early. The siblings watched her leave. Both eyes looked at each other quizzically. They could not perceive. Their mother's abnormalities. Mrs. Lin personality has always been gentle. They thought she looked pale because she was too excited and because of her poor health. After she left, Linnea once again entered into my brother's been admitted to the top school in the empire ecstasy. She told her brother a variety of things to pay attention to while gallantly leading him to his bedroom to quickly pack his luggage. Only a short two weeks before San Romeo Academy opens its gates. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk at 11 o'clock. In the evening, raging winds, heavy snow. A beautiful woman wrapped in a thick coat appeared at the doorway of a villa. She rang the bell and was soon invited inside. The woman's pale fingers were trembling. Her voice rose at the sight of the person who appeared in front of her. Professor Ford, you have to help me think of something. The professor was already more than 50 years old, slightly portly figure, and as a doctor. He was very gentle towards people. He saw Mrs. Lin's pale face, quickly brought her to the living room, and poured her a cup of hot water. He softly whispered, Mrs. Lin, don't worry, please speak slowly. Mrs. Lin clutched the cup in her hands, her lips quivering, and said, Ah, Xiao Yuan, he enrolled in the San Romeo Military Academy and was accepted. Oh my God, he kept telling me he's joining the military. Foreign was shocked, silly. You mean the directly governed by the military San Romeo Academy? Mrs. Lin nodded, her face tense. Foreign's face also changed. As far as I know, San Romeo Military Academy's rules are very strict. I know, if a student is admitted to the academy, they're required by the military to report on time. Otherwise, they will be considered a deserter. Mrs. Lin paused. But, but how can I let him go to military school? He's an Omega. Oh my God, he's already 18 years old. What if in school he, Mrs. Lin was afraid to continue at 18 years old? An Omega will enter their first season of their life. An Omega will completely lose control during estrus. Dominated by their nature, they'll only aspire to be embraced, be occupied, be marked. In the military, there are countless alpha. A single omega who can enter estrus at any time, aren't they no different than a sheep thrown into a den of wolves? Abo Cadets, Chapter 2 New Omega Inhibitor as the Family Doctor Ford is very familiar with the Lin family next door. Lin and her husband are descendants of the ancient Earth era of humans in Asia. Asia in their Earth era was a very great country, with nearly 5,000 years of civilization. And there were hundreds of legendary surnames compared to a complex name like Ford Venadier. Having an only two or three syllable name was simple. Mrs. Lin and her husband are Beta. Their daughter Lin Yao is. Also a beta, her husband was a soldier of the empire who died in battle many years ago. Therefore, the government paid them a yearly stipend to maintain their daily livelihood. The war between the Lacey Empire and Strandian Federation has stretched over hundreds of years and has claimed the lives of thousands of young soldiers. 
This single mother beta family circumstance is increasingly becoming more common. Mrs. Lin and her daughter Lin Yao are a very ordinary, not notable family, but she also has a son, Lin Yuan. Ford remembered the boy's name and even remembered the first time he saw him. That was 10 years ago, Ford had just moved to a civilian residential area on this planet. That day, he saw a boy about 8 years old, an Asian. Boy with yellow skin, black hair and a pair of big obsidian black clear eyes, Renz is a cold planet, with regular snowfall, when Ford met Lin Yuan he was playing in the snow. The boy molded the snow into a variety of interesting shapes, a spherical jellyfish and hexagonal starfish. There were flat crabs and a variety of strange marine life. He was easing out a layer of sweat from his brow. His ears were slightly red. But the cold didn't stop his fun of piling up art snow sculptures. One after another, Ford stood in the distance, sitting idly watching the boy play. The little boy spotted him, smiled back at him. The boy's smile was bright, his grinning mouth showing white teeth. His little baby fat jiggled as he laughed. He was lively and lovely. At that moment, Ford thought he saw the long absent sun. The second time he saw the boy was on a cold, snowy night. Mrs. Lin came looking for him in the middle of night in tears, begging him to save her child. He took a medical kid over to look at the child and inadvertently discovered that the boy was an omega and a very pure-blooded omega at that. Descendants of a beta and beta pairing can only be beta. Only a combination of an alpha and an omega can give birth to a pure-blooded omega. The pure-blooded omega ratio in humans is only 5%. And less than 1% of Omega are men, according to the law of the empire Omega, who are treated as a rare cherished species, are required to be registered to the empire Omega. Protection Association at birth and placed under direct control of the government, before the age of 13, the government will provide living allowances for the Omega's family at the age of 13. All Omega will be shipped to the Cepheus Galaxy Star 2. Attend an Omega school for a five-year education period. The serious imbalance in the gender ratio of Alpha and Omega, plus the extremely low birth rate and high mortality rate of Betas, has put the human population in a negative state of growth. For the sake of humanity's continuation, Omega, who have the highest fertility rate, become the empire's protected species at the age of 18. The society will immediately arrange a genetically compatible alpha for their marriage, bearing only the most outstanding offspring. It was strange that the Omega child called Lin Yuan would be lost in this desolate, barren planet. It was immediately clear that he was not registered in the Omega Protection Association, but was living as an ordinary beta in the most desolate planet in the universe and had lived there for eight years. Ford was in disbelief, Mrs. Lin reluctantly told him the whole truth. There's a secret experiment to change a human's physiology. The experiment's promoter was a very ambitious Omega genius doctor. He hoped that Omega would finally be able to leave the government's control. Then they'll be free to direct their own life. Instead of being forced to become some alpha's plaything, year after year treated as a tool for Human reproduction, the doctor developed an Omega pheromone inhibitor, which quickly became an open secret between Omega. Many Omega men and women with a strong sense of autonomy secretly use this inhibitor to become no. Different from ordinary. Beta, they could go to school, make friends, attend social events, rather than be like a machine trapped at home for childbirth, 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 among these Omega. The most famous was Ling Yu, a major general. After using the Omega pheromone inhibitor, he mixed into the military academy and became the youngest general in the history of the empire. With excellent military command, he even had his own independent corps. However, his Omega inhibitor unexpectedly failed during a military operation. In the middle of the battlefield, he was forced to enter into heat. Fortunately, he managed to gain control of his alpha subordinates and successfully evacuated his regiment from the front line. Ease, but he was ultimately expelled from the military. 
It attracted the attention of His Majesty, and since then the Omega pheromone inhibitors were seized and disabled. The young Major General Ling Yu was unaccounted for ever since. Some say that he was secretly executed by the military, some say that he was brought home to have children. Some have even said that he was too humiliated to appear in public and committed suicide, in any case. The legendary Omega General never appeared again, and no one knows the truth of his whereabouts. That battle became the army's top secret, which no one dared to openly discuss. Fornt was shocked that the child Lin Yuan was also injected with the Omega pheromone inhibitor. In that year the inhibitors had become prohibited in the empire, he'd been injected with the drug from birth, so even as a strong pure-blooded omega, his omega scent was very light, he was sick because his inhibitor's effect was running out. And at eight years old he could not enter heat like an adult omega, so his body's hormone imbalance caused his immune system to collapse. Mrs. Lin told Fornt that according to the omega doctor's deduction, if the inhibitors were injected long-term till the age of 20, through an omega's most intense heat from age 18 to 20, Lin Yuan could completely become a beta, although a private sex change was obviously violating the laws of the empire. But when faced with Mrs. Lin's tear-stained face and the tightly held body of the constantly trembling young boy, Fort relented. Yes, he really liked that lovely boy. He wanted the child to grow up happily rather than die at the early age of eight. Thus, Professor Ford promised to help Lin Yuan. He took the list of medical ingredients from Mrs. Lin and after intense research he successfully made a new omega inhibitor. This inhibitor not only adjusts the omega's hormone imbalance, but also let their physique be no different than ordinary beta. More importantly, this inhibitor could change the human blood factor to avoid high. And screening checks even routine blood tests. The only test that must be avoided is genetic testing. Human genetics cannot be changed with pharmaceuticals. Once Lin Yuan's omega gene was detected, his identity would be exposed 10 years ago. A uh, decision in a moment of weakness caused Fornt to embark on a journey of no return. He has watched Lin Yuan grow up. He loves that little Asian boy now. That lovely little boy has grown up and became an 18 years old teenager. If he could hold out for tears, he could completely turn into an ordinary happy beta and have the freedom of control of his own life. However, why did he suddenly apply to that damn military school? And he actually got accepted. God damn it. The empire places great importance on the observance of military rules and regulations an institute controlled directly by the military like San Romeo Military Academy, where annual enrollment is limited. If Lin Yuan is admitted to the academy but doesn't report on time, the army will certainly hold him accountable to register for the San Romeo Military Academy yet inexplicably not show up. It's not strange to be treated as a deserters from the battlefield. He might even be wanted by the military if Lin Yuan goes too. Military school, he cannot guarantee that his Omega identity would not be detected. Once his identity is exposed, he would be sent to the Omega Association and given to an Alpha for marking, possession, and childbirth for Lin Yuan who has always got himself a beta. It'd be a devastating blow, Fornt frowned in thought for a long time. Eventually he took a deep breath and tried to connect to a friend's communicator. Soon on the holographic projection screen, a middle-aged steel-faced man appeared. The man glanced at Fornt, asked in a deep voice, Fornt, why are you looking for me so late? Fornt smiled and said, oh, my dear Lieutenant Colonel Knox, there's something I'd like to ask you. What types of tests does the San Romeo Military Academy perform on school freshmen? My nephew plans to register for San Romeo Military Academy. I want to know the situation in advance. Physical examination. Physical fitness tests and serological tests. The stern-faced officers frowned. Slightly, he then said, Your nephew, Claude, who plays games all day. He has no hope of getting into San Romeo Military Academy. You'd better let him give up. Cough. He's always stubborn. Fornt dragged his nephew out as a shield. 
Then immediately, change the subject. So you say, the school doesn't do genetic testing, Knox nodded. Only in cases of suspected bloodline problems do we do genetic testing, generally it's not done. Forn smiled, oh, thank you, I'll take you out to dinner when I get back. Knox deadpan, that's what you've been saying for the past decade. When the communication ended, Forn awkwardly touched his nose, yes. It had been 10 years since he came to this planet, and every time he called, he'd invite his friend. To dinner when he returned, he didn't even know how many dinners he owed his friend now. Fortunately, he picked up some very valuable news. Lieutenant Colonel Knox was one of San Romeo Military Academy's instructors. He manages the testing period. Every year the freshmen experience a month-long hell under his reign, since he said so. The serum would go undetected. Forn sighed and said to Mrs. Lin, Mrs. Lin, don't be impatient. I've thought of a way. Mrs. Lin looked up immediately. Professor, do you have a good idea? Forn said. Let Lin Yuan report to the military school. I'll give him a batch of inhibitor pills. Made by dispersing the bi-monthly injection into several tablets. So that it could escape the intelligent. Detection ability of the interstellar gateway, as long as he takes the medicine on time. After two years, he will completely turn into a beta. Mrs. Lin was in shock. Send him to the military academy. This, what if he, in school? Forn smiled. Don't worry, this inhibitor's performance is more stable than before. It won't suddenly fail. As long as he takes the medicine on time, his omega pheromone will be comprehensively suppressed. There'll be no unexpected heat. Forn paused. But you've got to find a way to get him to keep taking his medicine. Each pill's inhibitor concentration is very low. Taking it every day is best if there are unexpected disruptions. Make sure it lasts no more than a week. Mrs. Lin is conflicted for a moment. Sending Lin Yuan away to the military academy seems to be the only choice. Adventuring to school with drugs seems to be much better than being wanted by the army. Even if the worst case said, Aryo occurs and his Omega identity is exposed. Being a pure-blooded Omega, he'll at least be immediately protected by the government as long as there's no unexpected estrus for inexperienced Alpha cadets. An Omega's estrus pheromone would definitely make the Alpha lose their minds like animals. Mrs. Lin doesn't dare to think about the horrible possibilities. She can only tightly clutch her necklace to her chest and whisper again and again in the bottom of her heart a prayer. God, please bless this child. Please bless him. Asterisk, 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 next door. In the Lin house, Lin Yuan was resting in his bedroom. The 18-year-old teenager stretched his body, comfortably sleeping in his bed, dreaming of a warm and wonderful landscape. Although he was sure he'd never been to that place, he always dreamed of. That scenery, the blue planet, where there was sunshine, green plants, with soft golden sandy beaches and an endless blue sea. The waves on the beach make a sweet rushing noise. He could even smell the salt in the warm sea breeze gently brushing his cheek. He dreamed that he was living in a simple cottage by the sea, a soft melody always drifting through the room. There's a soft hand stroking his head. A man's voice repeatedly ringing in his ears. Son, you'll be a beta, an ordinary, joyful beta. All right, Lin Yuan heard words coming out of his mouth. Okay, Papa, I am a beta. Is that father? That gentle voice who's calling him son. Is that his papa? In the dream. A wave suddenly engulfed all the good scenes in front, replacing them. With endless despair and darkness, his 18th birthday has passed. Today, he's really a grown-up. Deep in his body, there seems to be a fierce beast slowly awakening. That beast was controlled. Repressed for a long, long time, now it's finally woken up. Lonely screaming and yelling, it seems to want to break through, layer by layer. It peels back its prison walls. A strange thrill rises slowly from his spine. His pale skin ising out a thin layer of sweat, rapidly flowing blood in his blood. Vessels, his heart began to fiercely beat out of control. There's a strange sense of emptiness. Lin Yuan shivers from the cold. 
from the deep places of his body. He felt a sudden desire to be hugged. Why is it so cold? Is it snowing outside, Lin Yuan? Vaguely thought, a little uneasy. He wrapped himself deeper into his quilts and fell into a strange nightmare. 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 ABL Cadets, Chapter 3 Two conditions when he woke up the next day, there was a delicious breakfast on the table. Lin Yuan washed up and joined his family in the kitchen. He saw his mother's pale face, walked to her side and gently hugged her. Shoulder, smiled and said, Mom, are you still mad about me not telling you? Mrs. Lin looked at the young man's bright smile and her heart couldn't help but feel a little bitter. How can I tell him? You're not a beta, you're an omega, your dad is. Also an omega, I'm just your foster mother and we don't have any blood relation. You received a so-called gender transformation test at birth and was forced to be injected with an omega pheromone inhibitor. You must eat Dr. Forn's new inhibitor. Pills every day for tears until you thoroughly become a beta. If you do not take this medicine, you'll likely entire into estrus and an omega's estrus causes loss of reason. Only left with instinct, longing to be embraced, possessed, and give. Birth, Mrs. Lin's fingertips trembled slightly to face the young man with clear black eyes and an innocent smile and say such a cruel truth. She really couldn't say a word. Oh, my God. This boy has always thought he was an ordinary beta. In his mind, he's going to marry a beta girl in the future and have children. Instead, he could be forcibly taken by a strange alpha, forced to have a child. This subversion of his whole world would simply make Lin Yuan crash. In the end, it was better to continue. To deceive him, as long as he turns 20 and becomes a beta, everything will be okay. Mom, don't get angry. Sis packed my luggage for me yesterday. School is opening soon. I have to report to it as soon as possible. The young man who knows nothing walked behind his mother's back and left, giving his mama shoulder massage. Three years will pass quickly and when I graduate, I can become a soldier. Each soldier of the empire can be assigned to a house of their own in the primary planet. Constellation Cepheus. Then I can take sis and you to live there. The young man's wishes cause the beautiful lady's nose to sour. Three years. I wish you could spend those three years in peace. Mrs. Lin took a deep breath, looked back at Lin. Yuan An said, Well, I have no objection to you studying in military school, but you have to promise me to conditions. Seeing his mom finally relent, Lin Yuan immediately returned his hand, turned and sat in front of his mom and seriously asked, What conditions? Mrs. Lin said in a low voice, After you enter the military academy, stay as far away from those alpha as possible. Lin Yuan was surprised for a moment. He thought his mother's condition would be to earnestly, carefully study. Don't get distracted by beta girls or something. He didn't think it would be such an inexplicable condition. Stay away from Alpha. Lin Yuan scratched his head quizzically. Why? Mrs. Lin was silent for a moment. Then she said, San Romeo Military. Academy, do you know how it is? Lin Yuan looked at her in bewilderment. I know it's the best military academy in our empire. Mrs. Lin's expression became more serious. Not only that. Xiao Yuan, Alpha are the best species of human, San Romeo. Military Academy is the best military academy of the empire, especially if you apply for the military section, many of our marshals and military commanders. Even our current majesty are San Romeo Military Academy graduates. You know that, Lin Yuan. Nodded, Mrs. Lin said. The people who are in the military command section, even the beta are all powerful. Not to mention the pure-blooded Alpha, many of them are the sons of generals. Descendants of the royal family may even become your classmates. These types of people, you can't offend them. Do you know what I mean? His mother rarely talked so seriously, so Lin Yuan listened carefully and quickly understood her concerns. Yes, he was just an ordinary child of a single parent family in a remote, barren planet. Being admitted to the military department of San Romeo Military Academy was a great honor. So in school, he must be low-key. So he can't offend anybody and cause trouble for himself. Low-key life, 
Understated work, right? Lynn, Yuan smiled and earnestly said, Mom, you can rest assured I won't provoke them. Seeing her son make a firm commitment slightly relieved Mrs. Lin. She hesitated, took out a bottle and handed it to him. She whispered, there's this too. This is medicine Dr. Fort made for you. Take one every day. This is the second condition. Lin Yuan took the bottle and looked at it curiously. What is it? Mrs. Lin cautiously said. This medicine can help improve your physique. It's good for you. This bottle has a total of 365 pills. Eat one every day. When you come back for the holidays, I want to check. They're good. Improve my physique. Are they vitamins? Lin Yuan was puzzled, but still smiled, put away the bottle and said, Okay. I know, Mrs. Lin said gravely, Xia Yuan, I'm not joking with you. Dr. Ford has taken care of you since you were young. He knows your body. Do you remember when you was eight years old and almost died? Your body is special. Maybe a similar situation will happen. Again, this drug is good for you. You have to eat it every day. Promise me again. Don't forget seeing his mom be so careful and thoughtful of the things that happened when he was eight. Lin Yuan put away his smile and nodded seriously. Yes, I. No, mom, you can rest assured that I'll take it every day. It'll be just as important as lessons before bed. Mrs. Lin's heart felt more relieved. Lin Yuan has always been an obedient boy. Even from an early age, since he made such a promise of course he'll keep it. But still, her heart had a hint of unease. Mrs. Lin took a deep breath, removed the confusion from her mind, and handed a platinum crystal card to Lin Yuan. Take this card. The password is your birthday. This is a sum of money. Your father left behind. When you need money in school, just brush this card. Lin Yuan quickly shook his head. No, give it to sis instead. San Romeo has free tuition, room and board. And each month they give out living allowances. Mrs. Lin frowned and interrupted him. Take it. This is something your dad left for you. You're away from home. You need money. I have a card for your sister. Don't worry. When faced with his mother's resolute attitude, Lin Yuan had to accept it. But he doesn't know the father he had in mind and the father Mrs. Lin talked about were not the same person. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk as the first day of military school drew closer. Lin Yuan booked a spaceship ticket on the interstellar network, the large interstellar. Passenger ship Pearl No. 731 will be in Cigar Galaxy's planet Oman on January 5th for an hour. The distance from Cigar Galaxy's planet Rens to planet Oman is 100 light years. He needs to take a small spacecraft to planet Oman, a 10-hour trip, Lin. Yuan book ticket was for January 4th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon for a one-way trip to planet Oman. Mrs. Lin and Lin Yao personally dropped him off at Ren's space station. Farewell atmospheres have always made people sad. Seeing his mom's red eyes, Lin Yuan also could not bear to leave her. He tightly hugged her and pretended to smile carefreely. Mom? I will be back on the first holiday at the end of the school year. Also, I'll video call you often. I promise I won't forget you. Trust me, please. Mrs. Lin was assured a bit. She gently held her son and sobbed. Please take care of yourself. Lin Yuan smiled and nodded. I will. He went to his sister's side. Sis, please remember to feed hobby on time. Lin Yao forthrightly. Waved, don't worry, I won't starve it. Then I leaving, goodbye guys. Looking at the time, Lin Yuan waved the two people goodbye and entered the security checkpoint. Interstellar voyages have very strict security. Even within the same galaxy, all passengers and carry-on luggage must be carried along on an electronic conveyor belt and scanned by a 360-degree omnidirectional laser sweep. Each passenger and their pets must also undergo serological tests before boarding. So they don't spread. Infectious viruses. Lin Yuan's luggage is very simple. Only a few clothes. So he quickly passed the first hurdle. When the belt turned on to the second monitoring station, a serious middle-aged man pricked Lin Yuan's finger with a needle. When he finished taking a blood sample, 
He gave Lin Yuan a cold look and said, Take your pet out. Ha! Lin Yuan stumbled, scratched his head. Uncle, are you joking around? What pet? The middle-aged man was expressionless and presented a lifelike computer skin diagram of the inside of his luggage box for Lin Yuan to see he saw several simple clothes and a snow-white small dog shrunk into the corner. The puppy was asleep and seemed to be having a sweet dream. His long fur was also twisted into a braid. Lin Yuan, the middle-aged man urged, please take your pet out for the blood examinations. Also, pets should not be placed inside of luggage. Before boarding, there needs to be a unified registration. Go to the front to check the registration procedures. Oh, Lin Yuan quickly opened his luggage and pulled the sleeping hobby out. Hobby woke up in a daze and cried out at the sudden prick of a needle. Watched his master in tears, Lin Yuan felt helpless. He doesn't know how. This little guy got into his box. He clearly remembers locking his luggage the day he packed it. Does he have to take the puppy to school now? Lin Yuan immediately felt an approaching headache. There's no way the school allowed students to keep pets. However, his mother and sister had already left. The spacecraft was about to take off, and Lin Yuan couldn't leave small hobby in the space station. There was no other alternative. If the school didn't allow pets, he'd have to find someone to adopt. It asterisk 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 at 3 o'clock in the morning, the spacecraft arrived on planet Oman, unlike the snow-covered, barren, desolate planet Rens, as the main star of Cigar Galaxy. Oman's environment was clearly much better, and the population was larger by Several times, but it was still cold. The entire cigar galaxy is currently the coldest galaxy in the universe. It's not very suitable for human inhabitation. But because the galaxy had vast energy reserves that needed to be mined, it was gradually being populated. This is Lin Yuan's first time on Oman planet. Although he was curious, the Pearl Interstellar spacecraft will arrive at 7 o'clock and it was 3 o'clock. It was not a good idea to roam around in a strange planet, so Lin Yuan just found a quiet corner to sit down, held Hobby in his arms and closed his eyes. Drowsiness hit. He had just fallen asleep when suddenly he heard a loud piercing scream. A terrible sound. Like someone being choked, it immediately made people's heart feel a chill. Lin Yuan was startled awake. He saw a group of guards quickly rush into a corner. Moments later, the guards walked back, they seemed to be carrying a person. Lin Yuan looked at them curiously, unexpectedly, in a gap between the security. Guards, he met a man's eyes. It was a very good-looking man. The man was blonde, skin white and his mouth was bitten and bloody. His body was quavering. He did not seem to have the strength to stand and was half dragged, half walking with the guards. His beautiful eyes were slightly red. Filled with panic and helplessness, faced with those eyes obviously seeking help, Lin Yuan's heart fell tight, like it was being squeezed. Lin Yuan wanted to stand up, only to see the group of guards marching the man aboard a station vehicle. That Omega was crazy. Instead of staying at home, he had the gall to sneak out then entered Estrus in the middle of this space station. Shit. I was almost affected. Yes, it's good that the guards found him in a timely manner, or he'd be miserable. Whose family does that insensitive Omega belong to? Some adults were talking with evident mocking tones. Lin Yuan looked at the direction where the guards disappeared, gently shook his fingers with uneasiness. Omega, is that an Omega? Lin Yuan only learned about Omega from the network, but he's never seen an Omega, because all Omega are sent to a specially created Omega school at age 13. Forced into marriage at 18, after marriage they almost never leave the house, only responsible for childbirth. So most people are rarely able to see Omega, that Omega was really good looking. Lin Yuan was a little confused. The smell of an Omega in Estrus was very strange. It made him feel uneasy. There seemed to be something secretly budding in his heart. His body even had a subtle rising impulse. When he became aware of his body's response, Lin Yuan's ears reddened little. And he tried to find a bathroom to wash his face with some cold water. But 
When he stood up, he found something even more shocking Hobby, oh my god! Where did Hobby go? ABL Cadets, Chapter 4, The Journey of the Jumping Chicken. Lin Yuan remembered holding Hobby to take a nap. He fell asleep for no longer than a minute then Hobby was gone. That little guy. Where has he run off to? Lin Yuan hurriedly looked around. Elmon Planet, after all, is the main star of Cigar Galaxy. The space station is almost five times larger than his home planet run small space station. Just the passenger rest area alone is divided into eight regions, and each region is divided into smaller sections. There's a large constant flow of people in the space station. Finding a lost puppy is easier said than done. Lin Yuan walked from a district to each district, hoping to see a shadow of the missing hobby in the vast sea of people. All he found were domesticated pets at least four or five times larger than hobby. Not only large canine animals, there were wolves, tigers, and even a big bear, the owner of which had a specific control rope held tightly in his hand. While human evolution was progressing towards the separation of physiological sex into abo, many animals were also producing variation. Some ancient Earth-era mammals gradually became more docile and were able to become friends and pets for humanity. Of course, some of the alien mammals in the outer galaxies became more ferocious and cruel after evolution. Some even treat humans as food. Hobby was only a small foolish dog running around in the space station. If he encountered his natural enemies, wouldn't he get really hurt? Lin Yuan anxiously spun round the end round. In desperation, he went to the Space Station Help Center to register Hobby's appearance and characteristics in detail and left its photos and his contact information. He could only hope that some good person could pick it up and send it there. After registering the information, he returned to the Sea District. But what he found made him not know whether to laugh or cry. Little Hobby was sitting in the position where Lin Yuan Previously sat, a pair of hairy claws clutching tightly to the handle of the trunk, very neatly helping to guard his owner's luggage. Its pair of bright eyes were watery like it was about to cry. As if his owner had abandoned him, Lin Yuan. When Lin Yuan approached the seat, the dog looked at him a moment, then immediately started wagging his tail, rushed over and bit Lin Yuan's trousers, whining and crying. Lin Yuan really wanted to give it a smack. But one look at its grieving expression made him lose the heart to beat it. He called the help center to cancel the search for the missing pet, turned back to his seat, picked up Hobby and gently touched it. The little guy had just walked a little away, but he was too nervous and actually searched the entire rest area. A passing little girl seemed to like the look of Hobby, couldn't help but approach and touch his head, curiously said, Brother, is this your pet? What its name, Lin Yuan said with a smile. This is Hobby. The girl's mother came over and whispered, Sorry, my daughter is not very sensible. Honey, Jera hate it when people touch their heads. I hope you do not mind, she said, then touch Hobby's ear. Who was happy to rub her hand? The woman smiled. Slightly and turned away with her daughter. The little girl asked curiously, Mom, that was a Jera. How cute. I want one too, the woman said. Well, Jera are a very expensive pet. Just wanting one doesn't necessarily mean you can get one. Plus, their IQ can be compared to human beings. They can understand a lot of languages. I'll take you to the animal protection base to see one if you like. In the future, when you see someone else's pet, don't touch it without permission, okay? The girl was somewhat at a loss. Oh, okay. Lin Yuan was listening to their talk as it gradually faded away. Finally, he gave Hobby a complex look. Hobby raised his chin and looked at Lin Yuan as if to say, Stupid master. Do you finally realize that I'm not a puppy? Lin Yuan carefully looked at Hobby to pure white paws, a pair of wide, long ears. It really looks like a lovely puppy. Lin Yuan stared at it. After a long while, he asked, are you really some legendary species that can understand many biological languages? Ajera, Hobby silently turned his head. 
It seemed to be ignoring him. Little guy, can you understand me? Lin Yuan excitedly twisted Hobby's head back, touched its ears, looked into its eyes and said, if you can understand, nod your head or else I'll drop you. Hobby immediately nodded obediently. Do you hate it when people touch your head? Lin Yuan asked curiosity, deliberately touching its soft head. Hobby barked tearfully. Lin Yuan laughed. No wonder, my sister. Rubbed your head all day long, also twisted your hair into braids. It must have been very painful so you hid in my suitcase so you could go to school with me, right? Hobby immediately nodded its head, then rubbed up against Lin Yuan's palm. Lin Yuan held it, suddenly feeling in a happy mood. This high IQ pet is pretty good. While I was anxious to find it, it cleverly stayed in place to guard my luggage two years ago. Lin Yuan picked up the little guy in front of the space station. It was shrunk into the snow, almost blending in. Lin Yuan, who was passing by in the snow, found it. Afraid it would die of frostbite, he took it home with him. He thought it was just an ordinary puppy. He did not expect it actually was a Jera, a highly evolved species from the Apuchus galaxy. This creature was discovered 500 years ago. At that time, the human species was only under the Lacey Empire. The humans traveled to Barnard Planet in the Apuchus galaxy. There they accidentally discovered this small, cute-looking species. It was shocking that this creature was able to understand the language of a large number of cosmic creatures and that they were very friendly toward mankind. Humans officially named this creature Jera, brought it back and studied it carefully. The first successfully developed batch of intelligent armor had partly taken inspiration from the advanced biological brain structure of the Jera. However, since the establishment of the Strandian Federation regime and the Federation and Lacey Empire officially entered into war, because the Opuchus galaxies were occupied by the Strandian Federation. The Opuchus galaxy's highly intelligent Jera became less and less common in the Lacey Empire. His Majesty, the Emperor of the Empire, had really liked this clever pet on one of the administrative stars of the Empire located in the Cephide galaxy. There is a scientific research institution dedicated to cultivating Jera. This rare pet was not often seen by regular civilians, so Lin Yuan had thought it was just an ordinary dog. I don't know how awesome the past owner had to be to actually lose such a valuable pet in a space station. The thought of this made Lin Yuan weary. Looking back at Hobby, he asked, Hobby, your previous master, who was it? Do you want me to put your information in the Empire's pet networking center to find them? Hobby immediately shrunk his body in fear. Desperately shook his head, his pair of long ears shaking enough to almost fall off. Lin Yuan could not help laughing, touched its ear and said, Well, okay, I won't help you find your owner. It seems that they weren't so good to you, so you can follow me. Hobby happily rubbed itself against his palm. Lin Yuan, heart softened, couldn't help but pick up Hobby and intimately touched his forehead to its face. He suddenly felt that it wouldn't be so bad to have the smart guy around. In case the military school does not allow students to bring pets, Hobby was not an ordinary dog. Maybe he could find a way to muddle through. Then if that fails, they could only reluctantly part, hoping to find a good person to temporarily foster it. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk at 7 o'clock in the morning, the Pearl No. 731 Interstellar. Passenger Starship arrived at the Oman Planet Space Station. Lin Yuan passed through the inspection, boarded a small airship to transport to the Pearl's boarding passenger's compartment. The size of the interstellar spacecraft is quite large, with a total of 20 passenger compartments. Each compartment can accommodate nearly a thousand people, and the total carrying capacity was more than 20,000. The route was from the Cigar Galaxy to the Milky Way Galaxy, then to the Big Bear Galaxy, stopping temporarily at 10 different human-inhabited stars. Because it has to cross three large galaxies, there will be many space jumps and cosmic wormhole shuttles along the way. A full 13 days' worth of travel, Lin Yuan found their cabin by following the writing on the magnetic boarding pass. 
The small cabin in the spacecraft generally seats four, with four comfortable beds and four corresponding safety chairs. Usually people can lie in bed and rest, but during the space jumps, wormhole, shuttles, takeoff and landing, you must sit in the safety chair as a security measure. Lin Yuan walked into the cabin and saw a juvenile storing his luggage. The juvenile was around his age. With naturally curly supple platinum blonde hair, white, skin, ruddy red lips, long and thick eyelashes which cast a faint shadow on his cheeks, such facial features made him look particularly handsome and gentle. But his face had a very indifferent expression. The other two beds were empty, since Oman. Planet was the starting point. Obviously, the two other seats had not been booked yet and could pick up passengers in other galaxies. After tidying up his luggage, the cabin was quiet for a while. Till Lin Yuan took the initiative to greet each other. Hello, I'm Lin Yuan. The teenager looked back at him, faintly replied. Snow, Lin Yuan silently looked at him, quizzically asked. Snow as in, Snow. Snow nodded his head. Cool, that's a nice name. It was an appropriate match for his cold and cheerless appearance. Lin Yuan turned and sat down on the bed, graciously smiled at him and said, I'm going to bear Galaxy's broken military star to study. You, Snow, me too. Lin Yuan was instantly happier. You're also going to study there, I'm. Going to San Romeo Military Academy, you, Snow replied. I am also, Lin Yuan was very excited. What a coincidence as uh, I didn't expect to meet an alumni. I'm a freshman. I'm starting this year. Snow, I am also, Lin Yuan. Okay, I don't have to. Ask, you're also an ordinary beta and live in Cigar Galaxy. How odd, such a good-looking guy, but he had obvious resistance to strangers. Lin Yuan felt that his attitude was friendly enough. But this guy always looked stiff, as if he was not a beta. Human, but a beast that could attack at any second. You're not an Omega. I'm not an Alpha. Do you need to be so afraid of me? Lin Yuan scratched his head and felt very confused. Since No took out a small light computer and started watching a movie, Lin Yuan had to stop bothering him. Instead, he teased little Hobby who was burrowed in his bosom. Hobby who was probably sleepy, lying in Lin Yuan arms, let out a quiet yawn. After an indeterminable amount of time, the cabin's photoelectric screen suddenly lit up. On it was a man who looked mild-tempered. He touched his long beard, smiled and said, Dear travelers, I am Gel, captain of the Pro No 731 Interstellar Passenger Spacecraft. The time is cosmic calendar year 799, January 5th, 11 a.m. Our spacecraft will soon take off. Please sit down in the safety chair as soon as possible. Passengers, please also take care of your pets. Lin Yu quickly sat down in the safety chair. Little Hobby tightly held in his arms soon after. The captain's head on the screen disappeared. He felt a violent shock. Apparently, the Pearl spacecraft was taking off. The shaking lasted for more than 10 minutes before the spacecraft finally stabilized. The cabins? Portholes tentatively opened. Fully through the portholes, the outside universe landscape could be seen. Oman planet, the planet that looked like a pure white snowball, was gradually turning into a small spot. Slowly disappearing, the entire cigar galaxy is like a white nebula. Cotton thread, rapidly retreating, the vast universe of twinkling stars. Some distant unknown constellation was experiencing a meteor shower, becoming a piece of a silver thread. Dotted with a brilliant cosmic canopy, Lin Yuan could not help but exclaim, so beautiful, Lin Yuan, who has never been out of his galaxy, accepts everything with curiosity. The young boy called Snow sitting opposite Lin Yuan, his face still very cold. Slightly frowned when he heard him speak. A moment later, the captain's face appeared again on the screen. Passengers, I'm glad to tell you that our spacecraft has left the cigar galaxy and has successfully entered the cosmic waterway, said Captain Gill. Smiling, we will arrive at Milky Way Galaxy's Pluto at 8 p.m. tomorrow. In the course of this voyage through the universe, 
Wherever you need help, please do not hesitate to press the corresponding button by your bedside. Our intelligent robots will be responsible for your service. I hope you have a pleasant journey. The captain's voice faded, then a messy gray ripple suddenly emerged on the photoelectric screen. After a while, the screen signal finally stabilized, but there was a strange man's face on the screen. The man had long platinum, blonde hair, a very handsome neutral appearance, and a pure white uniform that set off his tall and slender stature. He bowed to the passengers politely, smiled and said, Dear people of the Lacey Empire, I am very pleased to meet you. Oh, of course. You should not be glad to see me. The man paused. The curvature of his lips rose gently. Then he said with regret, Because I am Admiral Vladimir of the Strandian Federation. Seeing me at this moment means that you have been hijacked. Lin Yuan. Equals 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 authors note extraterrestrial creature Jera from Alpucius Galaxies Planet Barnard body length fifteen to twenty in asterisk asterisk. Blackford gold dyed female and white furred black eyed male, two variants, with furry, claws and wide, long, big ears, defensive state is curled up into a spherical fur ball, a Jera's IQ is very high, they can understand the language of various cosmic creatures. They like their ears being touched, but hate to be touched on the head. It's said that when they are happy, they will use their cheek to rub against a human's palm, the small white hobby is actually male. We should just forfeit. Peace. Snow has appeared. Look forward to Lin Yuan's seam and snows seem to make an appearance. Asterisk, 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 translator's note. Asterisk. The author has 13 days here, but later on it takes four days to travel back. IDK asterisk asterisk. The author has 1520 centimeters, but that makes no sense, so I assume it's 15 to 20 centimeters. But that seems too small for a dog, so I assumed it's 15 to 20 in. If you find a 15 to 20 centimeters dog, show me. <laughs> ABL Cadets, Chapter 5 hijacked spacecraft following the end of the man's sentence. The entire spacecraft suddenly plunged into a riot, many small cabin doors flung open. As people panicked out of their cabins and packed into the spacecraft's public, Hall nervously looking around and whispering, Lin Yuan's face also changed. He immediately held on to the fearfully shaking hobby and went out into the main hall. The spacecraft's hall was a mess and the passengers' faces were filled with unrest. The public hall had a large projection screen. The handsome-looking young officer's smiling face was enlarged at the moment to the eyes of everyone. He looked like the most terrible demon from the depths of hell, watching the man's gentle smile. Lin. Yuan's heart could not help fill with cold aversion. Vladimir, this pervert, in order to apply for San Romeo Military Academy, Lin Yuan could recite the entire empire's modern history from the heart in the hundreds of years of history of war. Between the empire and federation, there have been many well-known generals. Vladimir is the number one most hated enemy of the imperial armies. As the youngest military strategist of the Strandian Federation, the one who the president of the Federation calls my devil general. He is the best at these kinds of surprise attacks. His legion of wolves attack ability and perverted guerrilla warfare have caused heavy blows to the imperial corps. Again and again in history, he has only miscalculated once. That was 19 years ago, the great battle in which the General Ling Yu led the imperial knight corps to attack Nami Star. That year, following news from a mysterious source. Vladimir advanced with a full three legions of forces to the Isabel galaxy in order to surround and ambush the Night Corps to annihilate them in one fell swoop. Fortunately, the ever cautious General Lin Yu arranged a stealth reconnaissance ship 10 light years outside of the star's domain. 
discovered his intention in time and lead the Night Corps out of harm's way in a successful evacuation. Vladimir, with a full three legions of troops, stayed for a whole day. Not to mention the annihilation of the Night Corps, not a hair of theirs, was touched. Instead, Imperial reinforcements arrived to give them a surprise and disgrace them. Lin Yuan watched the arrogant man smile through the big screen. He really wanted to drill into the skur. And and give him a punch, this bastard. He actually took advantage of the defense loopholes near Cigar Galaxy and hijacked the Empire's interstellar passenger spacecraft. This despicable action is something only he can do. Vladimir shrugged his shoulders, smiled and said, You do not have to panic. I just want to talk to your emperor about a few small conditions. I hope that his majesty will see eye to eye or else I cannot guarantee your safety. A white-gloved hand gently waved. The entire spacecraft suddenly fell into darkness. Under a strong electromagnetic interference, the spacecraft's communications and power had been completely cut off through the front porthole of the Pearl spacecraft. Several clearly visible thin silver warships remained peacefully floating, all printed with clear wolf totems a sign of the Wolf Legion, as long as Vladimir commands it. Those warships would quickly breach the military defense network and reduce the vulnerable passenger spacecraft. FT to debris, the hull plunged into a brief silence, and then a variety of messy noises sounded. There were curses at Vladimir. There were cries out of fear. There were some loved ones whispering trembling sounds of comfort. Lin Yuan, face ugly, turned back into the cabin, standing by the side. Of the window to the outside stars, Snow's face had become very pale. The gentle-looking boy was tightly frowning, his cold face almost covered by a layer of ice. They've actually become hostages. An entire passenger spacecraft, filled with thousands of Lacey Empire's innocent people, actually became the Federation General Vladimir's hostages. Lin Yuan's heart could not help but fill with a strong anger. The man who was hated by thousands of people in the Empire was in a place where his eyes could see, arrogantly prancing around in a sliver white wolf command ship, and he was powerless, only able to anxiously wait, like a lamb waiting for the Imperial Army to rescue him. He is only a not capable of resistance military school. Student, in this case he can only do nothing, Lin Yuan tightly clenched his fist, his heart suddenly began to beat violently as he looked at the smiling man on the screen. His mind rose an inexplicably strong desire to defeat him, to kill him, if at the moment he was the general of his own army, he'd use any means to kill the bastard, some kind of extreme hatred that seems to be inherited from blood. Caused Lin Yuan to suddenly lose control for a moment, Snow looked surprised at Lin Yuan, the sunny, bright, smiling juvenile, at the moment, was like erected barbs, claws out like a small tiger, eyes wide open staring at the front of the screen, as if he was ready to rush in and attack. This guy is a bit too excited. This screen was just a realistic projection. Wanting to kill the man in the screen was simply impossible. The spacecraft's communication line had obviously been forcibly interfered with. They simply cannot send any help signals to the Empire. Vladimir may be currently negotiating with His Majesty the outcome of the negotiations related to the survival of the tens of thousands of people on the spacecraft. They waited for a long time. Losing track of time to the point where time seemed to become static, every second had become increasingly long. For many people on the spacecraft, this is their first time so close to the face of death, the initial loud curses and cries of fear, as time went on. Gradually subsided down, Lin Yuan finally restored his reason. Frustrated, he sat back on the bed, stroking the trembling hubby over and over again. After a moment of quiet, Lin Yuan suddenly looked to Snow, smiled and said, Cough, Snow? We should chat about something, in case the pearl becomes cannon fodder. And we die, it seems a bit self-fulling to be as quiet as the dead. Yes. So silently waiting, maybe the general's threat really will come true and we'll die here, if that's the case. Before dying it's better to make a friend, wouldn't that make being buried in the universe slightly better? But there are so many things waiting for him to do, 
Snow tightly clenched his fist, took a deep breath to adjust his mood, and looked at the pair of big black eyes belonging to the juvenile, softly, said, What do you want to talk about? Lin Yuan scratched his head and said, Which section did you apply for in San Romeo, the medical section? Oh, you have a gentle look to you. It's suitable for being a doctor. My father is a doctor, Snow, said Lin Yuan was silent for a second, somewhat lost in his mind. My father, I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. My mother said that when I was born, he died on the battlefield. There are no photos at home. I don't even know what he looked like. Snow looked at the lost look on the face of the lively young boy. His heart softened. He could not help but softly comfort him. Don't be sad. Lin Yuan scratched his head. At a loss for words, father, for him, it was a very unfamiliar word since he could remember. His family only had a mother and a sister, those two people, although his mother always told him that his dad died in a battle. Lin Yuan constantly felt it wasn't quite right in his dream at the Blue Sea Planet that Man always gently touched his head and called him son. The sound of his voice was very gentle. Son, you will be a normal, happy beta. Was it just a dream or real memories from his youth? Who was that man? What does being a beta mean? Wasn't that a beta? Lin Yuan felt a little cranky. He still couldn't understand. Snow suddenly said, It's been an hour. Lin Yuan recovered, looked at the time. Ah. I don't know what that pervert is talking to his majesty about for so long. Regardless of the contents of the negotiations, this provocative hostage situation will cause his majesty to not directly agree so easily. From Lin Yuan's perspective, his majesty would think of ways to hold Vladimir and then send a nearby imperial army for emergency rescue. However, the Cigar Galaxy is the most desolate galaxy. Only the legions responsible for overseeing the mining of minerals are close enough. And those core's combat capabilities are not on the level of Vladimir's wolf. Legion, a rescue mission would be equal to a suicide mission. Vladimir would not have the patience to wait while other large forces arrive. If he gets impatient, directly destroying the pearl was very likely. Seeing the time drag on longer and... Longer, with no movement from the Empire, Lin Yuan cannot help but become anxious. What's going on in the Empire? Is it all right to sit so still? Suddenly, a dazzling light flashed in the window. The Wolf Legion's left rear position unexpectedly showed some signs of space tearing, with a wave of powerful fluctuations enough force to shake the entire universe. Three pure black micro warships suddenly appeared at the rear of the Wolf Legion unhesitatingly directly opened fire, boom, boom. Three light bombs shot out at the same time. A dazzling tail of photoelasticity exceeding the speed of light shot across the dark sky and directly destroyed the wolf army's left-wing warships. Boom, a barrage of explosions, three small warships of. The wolf legion exploded, large tracks of fireballs soaring up into the sky in the silence of the universe bursts of lights like bright and dazzling fireworks suddenly appeared with the explosion as a welcoming gift thousands of pure black warships neatly arrived from the torn universe wormhole surrounding the wolf legion in the fastest speed pure black warships suspended in the universe almost blending into the vast universe only the red lights dotting the warships can be seen like predators staring at prey in the darkness, a black warship, like a cool hunter, slowly approaches the Wolf Legion, in the center of numerous red lights. A huge pure black galactic army warship calmly steadied in place, the appearance of the mothership in the distribution of dark red lights, in that moment, almost overshadowed all the starlight in the universe, the glory cores, the Empire's glory legion. The undefeated Rosen Marshall's personal glory cores, the spacecraft, almost simultaneously erupted into cheers. Oh my God, it's Marshall Rosen, Marshall Rosen. He came to the rescue. We have hope. No, we're definitely saved, Marshall Rosen. It's really him. He really came. Some passenger excitedly cried out, clutching the cross on his neck and whispered Rosen's name over and over again.
Rosen Bessemer, the youngest army commander in the history of the Empire, a 573th Sen Romeo Military Academy. Military Command Department graduate with excellent grades in all courses, he rose to colonel in three years, within six years became Supreme General, then 15 years later, he took over as Marshal from the hands of the former. The most powerful commander in the entire armed forces, as long as he was here, he would never give up an inch of the Empire's territory or any of the Empire's people if it said that General Vladimir is the military genius of the Strandian Federation. Then Marshal Rosen is the proud Lacey Empire's undefeated god of war, god of war, god